Hello everybody, this is Pandas Taste Good. I'm doing a little PSA on Windows 10. I'm going to go over some privacy options here. Um, I was inspired to do this because a lot of people don't know how to do this or don't know that they need to do this. So uh, here's a little Windows 10 privacy tip. Now if you loaded your computer with Windows 10 from scratch or if you upgraded to Windows 10, you probably got a screen that had a bunch of sliders and you could go left and right to turn certain settings on or off. Most people, when they go in and customize that, they'll turn that off. Some people miss it, some people don't. Here's the catch. Windows 10 updates, uh, the big ones that can break computers or cause a lot of problems, speaking from experience, <laughs> um, a lot of those updates will reset these values to their default values. So, let me show you what we're talking about. If you go in here to settings, and you, here's your Windows 10 settings. Now, these are the settings you need to do for Windows 10. Windows 7 is not nearly as, uh, well, you don't have to do these in Windows 7. This is a quote-unquote improvement in Windows 10. So if you're very privacy-minded, you're going to want to take these steps. If you don't really care, well, then don't take these steps. But appreciate you watching thus far. So we're going to go to privacy right here. And you notice there's some things right here. Now, I haven't turned everything off, but the first place you get is general. And you can read through these on your own. I'm not going to read them to you. Um, Windows, Microsoft will tell you that Windows has these settings to provide relevant advertisements or relevant content to you as you use Windows 10. Uh, I'll let people discuss, discuss that and decide that on their own. I'm not here to convince you one way or the other. What I am going to tell you is that... Um, if you don't want your information tracked by Microsoft, turn these off. And these do apply even if you don't use a Microsoft account to log into your computer. If you use a Microsoft account, you're going to want to go to this privacy dashboard here. And I don't have a Microsoft account, but I'll kind of show you. You'll need to go in here, sign in, and disable anything you want. So, no Microsoft account, Windows 10. Let's go through here. So the first thing we want to look at, let's look at activity history. Ooh, this was set as a default value. Um, let Windows collect my activities from this PC. We're going to uncheck that. Um, ba -da -ba -da. Let's see. We're going to clear our history on here. Real quick while we're thinking about it. And we can go into diagnostics and data. Uh, basic and full. Send only info about your device. You see all these different sliders. This is all related to privacy. These are not just random screens I'm clicking on. I mean, these are all related to privacy. Diagnostics and feedback, activity history. Let's look at location. This is a big one for a lot of people. You can turn your location on and off for different apps. Um, same thing with your camera. I have to allow apps to access my camera because I stream video games, but... Um, this right here. Why would why would OneNote need access to my camera? There's probably a good reason. I don't know it. Don't claim to know everything. Same with my microphone. Of course, I'm using a microphone right now, but um, I don't think the Microsoft Store needs that. I don't think any of these need it. I don't have Xbox on my computer. Notifications is another one. This is more of an annoyance for people. If you're tired of getting the little well, I, I don't, I can't make the sound, but that sound and the little pop-up that comes in the lower right-hand corner, you can um, modify that. I'm gonna leave it on. I don't mind the, don't mind that. Allow apps to access your account info. Now we're getting somewhere that start puckering buttholes. Here we go. Um, you can turn this off or on depending on. Again, this is all your preference. I'm not saying you have to do it. I'll let you make the decision on your own. If you're ever unsure what you want allowed on your computer there's this really cool tool out there called google use it don't assume that your computer works without gathering any information now i'm not one of those guys who tapes the webcam on my computer and all of that but uh i would recommend looking into all of these options uh contacts is another one allow apps to access your contacts i'm just going to turn that off as a whole i don't have any contacts but same with the calendar i don't have my calendar on here Call history. I don't have any call history, so I'm going to turn that off. Email. A lot of people have an email client. Now, this is an email for, from a, a web browser. 
this is email through a client through windows so um i'm just gonna turn that off because i don't care about i don't care to let that out if you allow access you choose which apps can access your tasks um i'm gonna leave that on i don't know what that breaks reader send sms messages radios leave that on and all of these are things that you can go through again check <coughs> as much of that now here's check as much, many of these out as you can use google here's one that a lot of people complain about and they don't realize they're complaining about it a lot of people say wow ever since that last update or wow ever since going to windows 10 i have a lot of i i either have a lot of apps running in the background or my computer's running slow here's what you can do what you can do is go in here and turn off apps running in the background be careful with these there may be an app like i don't play that i don't play this I'm not going to do that i'm not doing that on Groove music get help Look at all these things I don't I don't use, and I know I've turned some of these off and off in the past. I don't know if they uh oh that is uh -huh. turning these off is going to make your computer run a lot more smoothly. So if nothing else, if you don't care about the privacy, that's fine. This is something you definitely can. I use sticky notes a lot. You definitely definitely can turn off to make your computer run faster windows defender security center i would say the one recommendation i'm going to give leave that on no antivirus you have is ever going to be 100 percent effective no uh scanning or prevention tool is going to be 100 percent effective but it doesn't hurt to have that on there diagnostic information I'm going to leave that on. Automatic file downloads, documents. Ooh, allow apps to access your documents library. Nope. Your pictures library. Nope. Your videos. Nope. Your file system. Nope. Okay. So there we've, I've disabled a bunch of things on my computer now. Um, the last thing I want to tell you as part of this tip, um, when you install or upgrade to windows 10 you're going to notice that there's a new browser when you everyone's seen it called microsoft edge and they even say recommended for windows 10. i would recommend google chrome mainly because it's updated way more frequently but here's something here's my reason for pointing this out microsoft edge comes by default on windows 10 machines and for some reason, Microsoft thinks, or they're acting like, Microsoft Edge is the best program to open a PDF file. See this right here? You will have to manually set this on a Windows 10 machine. We'll think Microsoft Edge should open it. Um, make sure you download uh, Adobe Acrobat Reader DC, it's free. But then manually set that because I don't think it will set that automatically every time. So there you go. There's some Windows 10 privacy and uh, settings tips. Again, use Google. Google's your friend. Thanks for watching. If you uh, found any of this helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you think that I was full of baloney, you're welcome to still give it a thumbs up. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But feel free to comment below why I suck at life. All right. Thank you very much. See you around.